Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a quick sort of build series um, using two of these, um, which is the Revell 50 second scale Star Wars Snowspeeder. I built one of these before, um, which was a very quick build for our seasonal sci-fi group build on the Black Rifle Model Works Facebook group. Um, they're great little kits. They're cheap as chips. Pick them up for sort of six, seven pounds. Um, they're small. They they lend themselves to sort of diorama vignette. So I finished the one that you can see on your screen now, um, just before Christmas, um, and someone saw it and said, "Oh, I really like that." They're a massive Star Wars fan, um, and it's actually their birthday uh, beginning of February. So I thought, you know what? I'll get another couple uh, and try and do a bit of a sort of diorama. So the idea is we're going to have two of these. One is going to be crashed and one is going to be flying uh, sort of through a canyon, snowy, rocky canyon. I'll put it in a display case and everything else and then I'll give it to them for their birthday. Um, so not commission build. It is purely and simply just a gift um, that I thought, why not? It might be quite cool. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to pull it off and get it to a level where I give it someone um, for a gift but so we're going to build one straight out of the box do nothing to it other than paint it and weather it and all that sort of stuff um, and then the other one which is the subject that you'll see in this video really is I'm going to damage it all up um, put it crashed um, so first things first it's not an inbox review this is such a simple kit they're designed as a click together push together type kit um so yeah i mean i'll be gluing it and all that sort of stuff but as you can see it's very very simple very simple so you only get two well four sprues but two sprues and bits on the others are just top and bottom of the of the snow speeder itself um but if it's anything like the one i've built before it goes together really really well you probably wouldn't need glue to be fair Get rid of that. um but yeah they're, they're just a nice quick build and obviously you can get 48 scale ones from bandai and everything else um but for, for this purpose you know the the diorama i'm not planning really on it being any bigger than than sort of an a4 piece of paper probably a bit smaller footprint um so let's look at the top and bottom first of all so as you can see this is the bottom and these are actually the sort of push pins that that are designed to to just push these together um but they they work really well um, don't worry about any of these ejector pin marks and stuff because you just don't see them on the finished thing um but as you can see on the bottom we have really nice detail nice panel lines and what have you this hole here you get a base in the kit which is on the other sprue if you want to just mount it independently on, on the base we we won't be on this i'll be using some clear plastic rod um on the dio base and as i say this one's going to be on the ground anyway sort of crushed um so yeah it's, it's a very cool little thing really the top is exactly the same molded in panel lines and detail and then these holes here are obviously for the blasters and stuff um, you've got this one on the top here, which is for the smaller gun um, and then sort of some cockpit detail and stuff. But it's it's all molded in. It takes a wash really, really well um, and requires very little cleanup, to be honest. I don't think I put any filler in the last one at all. Um, then you've got the other sprues. So this bit here is the, the base I was talking about. So it does come with a base. You've got two very basic pilot figures. Um, but to be honest, once they're in, painted and in, um, very little uh, seen really through the canopy. Then you've got some instrument panels front and rear. Um, again, basic, but it's there. The detail's there. Um, so quick dry brush and stuff and they pop. Um, these bits are for the back of the blasters. Again, we've got this quite nice panel line detail on. Quite deep for this scale, um, but it's not real, so... It kind of adds to the effect, really. And then we've got this bit at the back, which is the engine. A little bit of flash around here, but it will just snip off and clean up lovely. 
Um, so yeah, really, really good for this price. I mean, what do you want for six quid, you know? Uh, then you've got the cockpit tub, essentially, um, that the pilots fit into in the instrument panels and whatever. And then we have this kind of centre section here, um, which separates the cockpit. Then you've got the back panel here, which the engine pushes onto. And we have this sort of molded in detail here as well. These for the back of the blasters and then the blasters themselves. One piece and just drill out the, uh, the barrels essentially on those. No problem at all. And then these bits here, which are sort of the rear, I guess they'd be kind of air brake type things. Um, and then the little gun uh, for the rear of the snow speeder there as well. Again, we'll draw that barrel out and paint them up. And that's it. It's a really quick build. You'll have this together in less than an hour, probably. Cockpit, canopy, um, very, very sort of clear. No real distortion, no mould lines, no anything on it. It's really nice. Um, easy to mask as a square windows, really. There's no curves or anything. It's very boxy. Um, yeah, now I was thinking what might be cool is we've got here. So this is sort of the rear of the snow speed of this bit, which we put paint on and then the canopy here. We've got these sort of hinge details molded in. I was thinking I may be able to cut that. Cut the clear part so I can have the cockpit in the open position on the crashed one as if the pilots have got out of it if it's on fire or, or whatever um so we'll have a play with that and see if i can actually cut through this bit here um and try and try and open up the cockpit on it maybe we shall try we shall try usual thing you get in reval kits lots of different languages plastic model kit don't stick it to your face all that sort of stuff get rid of that then we have the decals, very few decals. So you've got the orange stripes here, a um, couple of stencil details um, around here. And that's it. They're the, they're the uh, excuse me, the extent of the decals you get in this, but that's all you need really. Um, and if the last one I built is anything to go by, these decals went down fine, no issues at all. No issues at all. So very, very simple, very simple. So on the, uh, here are the instructions. So on the front, you've got a completed model. As I say, you do get the base with it. Um, and as you can see, it's very, very simple. What I will probably do on one or both, probably on the one in flight, is just maybe put some numbers at the front signifying the person's date of birth maybe just as a nice little added touch um on the front or somewhere around it so i may do that um but yeah it's a it's a nice little thing it is what it is um so instructions are the booklet type so again all the sort of various things you get in revel kits what tools you need etc all the symbols whether to glue it paint it number of the part Decal, etc., etc., and then we've got the color callouts there. Obviously, it's calling out for their own colors, the Reval colors. We're not going to be using those, we'll be using Tamir for the LP. Um, and then, very simple sort of sprue map here. So, as I say, we've got four gray plastic sprues and one clear sprue. Uh, details down here you need spare parts and to get a hold of them etc etc and then we're into the build itself so building this sort of firewall panel here separating the cockpit it's nice color clear instructions telling us what colors it should be painting the pilots and then putting all the cockpit together then we're pushing the cockpit into place into the top section and it's telling us to sort of paint Paint the top section, start putting the decals on. We won't do it that way. We'll probably build it all and then put it together. But I will paint the cockpit and probably the engine uh, engine parts separately. Um, get it all together, push it together. Um, job done, you've got a snow speeder. Then we're adding the canopy um, and the, the blasters and all that sort of good stuff. 
um, pushing it all into place and it does click into place but we will add some glue as well um rear gun attaching it to the base that's it done it really is a nice nice simple simple build um and then it's just telling us decal placement all the little detail bits of painting and stuff and that's it very very simple so what i don't propose to do uh in this video is is show you me blow by blow cutting apart off the sprue cleaning it up gluing it together it's yeah if you want to see how i do that sort of stuff then look back on the channel there's a t55 build there's a f4u corsair build showing how i do that sort of stuff so i will film it um, but i'm just going to speed that footage up um, of the build itself um, we'll get it together and then we'll we'll have a look at painting and all that sort of stuff and then moving on we'll we'll be doing the actual base for the diary um so i have cheated a little bit because what i've done is i've sort of marked out on some xps foam um my sort of what's in my mind's eye for the actual base itself and here it is so this is just uh i think this is 30 mil 40 mil xps foam bits and bobs lying around so i've attached these two blocks together you know with some double-sided tape and then put these bits here uh, sort of raised it up um or will be raising the sides up so the idea will be you'll have one mounted in flight here we'll have a crashed one here so in that sort of position um into sort of the hillside at an angle um whether the canopy is open or closed i'm not sure um but we'll figure it out um and then maybe some smoke coming off it i'm not sure yet i'm not sure we'll see how we get on um and then we'll build up these sides with sort of snowy mountainous type terrain um and then the other one flying through this sort of gully in between the in between the hills quite low to the ground that's the plan uh the reason i've you'll see this sort of higgledy piggledy pattern on the xps foam so the plan will be with this is to use dust clay which is air drawing clay to build up the texture um and i find that it it adheres better it sticks better to xps foam if you've scored into the surface and that's what that is so dead simple you just get your blade and cut into it um, and that creates that so the base is kind of at its very early stages um we won't worry about this hole i think it's too far back in the diorama um or maybe but it'll be one of those two um for the in-flight one um and what we'll use is just some clear plastic or clear acrylic rod that will slot into the base like so um once it's all together and then we'll, we'll mount the uh, the in-flight snow speeder will be mounted in that sort of position there maybe or we might go a bit further back and mount it in that sort of position there we'll see we shall see so first things first before we start worrying about the base too much is we need to get this together and i need to see whether or not i can uh, carve my way through this clear plastic um maybe we'll see we'll see if not i'm going to be on amazon ordering another one so or I might just leave the canopy off jettison canopy maybe we shall see but i'm going to get building this and uh yeah i'll film it but it'll be sped up um, and then i'll come back and talk about it once it's all together see you in a minute
Okay, so we've done the majority of this sort of removing from the sprue, clean up and all that. There's very little to do with this, as I said. It's sort of pushed together, although we're going to glue it. So what I have done, um, I've painted the cockpit to a point. So essentially just primed it in Steinerweiss Black, which is UMP Primer Black. Um, and there we go. And then I've just given it a quick dry brush uh, along the sides, etc., um, of the Shabti Bone from Citadel. And what I did do, in the middle so we're not going to put the pilots in this particular one um so in the middle there as you can see there's these two holes where the pilots locate into and i've just made a little bit of a makeshift seat out of plastic card to cover those holes and then these holes here will be the uh, the instrument panels locate into there so the cockpit's pretty much done very very simple and then i've just primed up the top um of the of the speeder which is one piece removed it from the sprue cleaned it up primed it and i've primed the the bottom of the snow speeder as well um, again very very simple uh, one piece removed from the sprue that pushes into there that locates into there etc etc the blasters all done cleaned up ready i've just got to draw the the barrels out at the front um, but that won't be any big deal and then we've assembled the engine um, at the back i'm assuming it's the engine or part of the engine um, and again just primed in ump black primer and the same with the instrument panels now i did mention um at the start of the video about the cockpit canopy um, and trying to cut it so we'd be in the open position so i have done so down this down this line here um is essentially where the seam was um and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to fashion potentially two um sort of brackets or whatever um, because i couldn't cut these out it's too thick you can see how thick that clear part is um, and it would have caused too much damage and yeah so i'm going to try and fashion some sort of bracket from plaster card um, so i can have the the canopy in the open position but this this rear piece can just fit onto the top um, and then i can do everything else and then worry about the uh, the canopy so it's all masked off um using to me a tape that one's in primer, again, UMP black primer. That one's had its first coat of XF19, which is the color we're gonna use. Um, I'm not painting it white. Uh, whether this is too dark or not, I like the way it looks. Um, and what I have done off camera is I built and painted the other one. So that one's all done now. Um, so all I need to do now is mount that, once the base is complete, is mount that onto uh, some clear rod. Um, so this will be the one that's in flight. And if we can see in the cockpit there, we've done the pilots and everything else. Um, there's no pilots in this one. I'm not going to put them in because I'm going to put them sort of, they run away from it. It's burning, it's destroyed, it's damaged. Um, so that's why I want the canopy open on this particular one. So I'm gonna figure out how to, it will be really simple to be honest. It's a little piece of plastic card or two pieces um, bent into position, scored and bent into position. It's not, it's not rocket science. Um, so now I need to base coat these pieces in um, XF19, which is to me a sky, I believe. Yeah, that one there. So Tamir Sky, Sky Grey, base coat those, um, and then actually push it together then. I'm gonna paint the grey underneath uh, where the blasters are gonna go, um, so that that's all, you know, as it should be. Um, and whilst I'm doing that, I shall prime the, uh, the blasters, um, get those together, and they will just literally click into place on these slots here. Um, yeah, so we're certainly cooking on gas. The cockpit literally pushes into uh, the top piece there. 
So underneath we have these two locating pins, two holes in the cockpit, and it literally pushes into place. Such a simple, simple build um, and a great mojo builder. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll be into decals and weathering. So I will see you very shortly. okay so we're all painted we're decaled very very simple decals squares really and um, the odd sort of stencil data um, around the sides and we're clear coated in a vms acrylic gloss clear um, we've still got bits masked on the bottom canopy is still masked um, and now we need to turn this one and make it look a bit weathered and a bit dirty like this one um so the way this was done very very simple using tamir accent panel line um black and dark brown into the panel lines bit of staining and stuff and then we went in with a dry brush of citadel eshing gray um just to dirty it up smudge it up a little bit we've obviously got the black on the bottom there and we've dry brushed some model air chrome over the engine uh, just to give it a silver effect, uh, which we've done on this one as well. So, yeah, we're going to get them looking similar. And then I think I need to damage this one up a bit because this one's going to be crashed. So uh, we'll see how we get on.
Okay, folks, so we're done. So we've got the two snow speeders now. Um, pretty much identical. Uh, slight variations in the weathering and tones and that sort of stuff, but that's good. So this one, the one with 9.2 on the front, um, it's got the pilots in it, etc. Fully sealed canopy and all that stuff. So that's good to go. That's going to be the one that's in flight. Uh, the reason I've put 9.2 on the front is because that's the birthday of the person this is for, 9th of February. Um, so it's a little nod to them. So that's the in-flight one. That's done. Um, so that can go to one side. This one is the one I've just finished. Um, there's no pilots in this because they're going to be out of it if that makes sense. So it's going to be crashed into the ground, canopy open, um, and no pilots in it, and no crew. Um, so what I need to do now is figure out how I'm going to damage this. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a couple of sort of holes here, maybe where it's had some damage from lasers or whatever that have penetrated the surface of it. Um, and then some sort of burn marks, scorch marks around this sort of area. Um, and then it will be mounted on the base. But that's going to be in the next video. So for now, this video is done. Um, hopefully you like the format um, of showing what I'm doing, but not going into every single stroke of the brush and all that. Um, if you want more in-depth, you know, how I've cleaned up parts and all that stuff, then if you have a look at the T55 video series, or even the Corsair video series, um, then that shows that in much more depth. But I don't want to go over old ground, really. Um, but yeah, this is, they're looking, they're looking okay. Um, they'll do what I need them to do. Um, once they're, they're on the base and we've done the groundworks and all that sort of stuff and the snowy terrain. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, guys. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, go and visit umpretail.com. Join the Black Rifle Model Works community Facebook group um, and I'll see you next time where we're going to damage this one up and complete the base and get the base done. Um, and then we're pretty much there. So until next time, guys, stay safe. Happy hobbying. Bye bye.